Inside the Paperless Movement membership, we help you to unleash the full potential of your productivity system with a tool agnostic framework that we call iCore. iCore stands for Input, Control, Output, Refine and allows you to connect the information world with the action world in the most efficient way possible. However, iCore is a tool agnostic approach and for some of you, this might seem too abstract and you prefer seeing how iCore works in real life examples and tools. This is why we are starting this new video series on this channel, in which we'll show you how you can apply iCore to any productivity tool. And we start this series with ClickUp, the project manager that we use inside the Paperless Movement business for more than two two years already. In this video, I'll show you exactly how we set up ClickUp in order to track our goals down to our individual to-dos. Since 2016, I was implementing and reviewing hundreds of project managers on this channel, but also in one-on-one -on -one consulting. For our use case, we decided to stick with ClickUp. However, be ensured, the principles of iCore that I explain in this video can also be applied to any project management software out there. So why did we decide to stick with ClickUp? The main reason is its flexibility to set things up and the option to zoom in and out to see exactly what we are working on. Bear with me, I'll show you exactly what I mean by this in a moment. I just want to mention that I'm aware that those are also the features that are very overwhelming for many ClickUp users out there and also their reason to leave ClickUp for some more streamlined but also more limiting solutions like Asana. But after this video, you'll see that after we've applied iCore to our own ClickUp setup, everything became crystal clear and very straightforward to use. Okay, before we dive into ClickUp, I want to show you some principles how we define inside iCore goals, project, tasks, and to-dos. That's one of the magic slides that you get with the iCore Mastery course, and we certainly dive a lot deeper into this, but I think it's important to understand what we did inside ClickUp, that we have a bit of a theory up front here. We consider goals, projects, tasks, just being ways to group to-dos. To us, to-dos are the only actionable items. In the end of the day, we want you to have a simple to-do list of things that you need to do right now. I think that's enough to understand in order to go now into ClickUp and see how we implemented it in there. So in ClickUp, we have the option to build dashboards. And this is the end result that you see right here. You just saw on the magic slide, we go from goals to to-do. And that's exactly what we replicate here now. You have the dashboard with your goals. We have the projects, which is the portfolio here. And we have the tasks and to-dos here. Okay, these are the things that we need to do. And the way we set this up is, again, something that makes ClickUp very powerful to use. It's actually part of Refine inside iCore to try to connect everything together, to avoid duplication of information, and to make things as simple as possible. So here, this is the end result. We have here four goals that applies to the paperless movement business. And we decided that we will be very transparent to show you what we are working on and what will be in the future. And that's a real case example. That's what we'd work on on a daily basis. So for example, here, you see a goal that's called stabilized business operations. And you see there's one target down there and it's at 90%. So I hate it if we need to go in there every Monday and try to update the KPIs and you collect information from different projects. That's something I saw so many times in the past, manual collection of information. And this is not only tedious to do, it's also error prone. So that's why we try to connect things together. And here I show you now how we did this. We have the goal. If you click on the goal, it's actually connected to a list. And the list is called Business Optimized Quarter 4 2022. It's one list. And you see this list has 140 tasks and we already completed 129 tasks in this list. So now I could click here and I can open the list. And you see here things that we are still working on, things that we didn't start yet, but we consider completing the lists of tasks and to-dos here will be enough to achieve the goal for the quarter 2022. And you see here on the side already that this is our six folder structure. So it is a meetings folder, it's a projects folder, it's a work stream folder, it's operations, documentation and databases. And right now we are inside the projects folder, okay? And if I click on uh, the business optimization, I see now the list of the things 
that we had inside the goal. The important thing now is when I go into a task, I see here the goal, stabilized business operations. Now I can click the goal and it goes back to the goal. And that's something that we always try to achieve, that everything is connected with each other. So no matter at what place we are inside ClickUp or any other productivity tool, there will be always a way to get the relevant information with a simple click of a button. And you just saw it, we are inside the goal, I go to the list, I click on the list, it opens the list. I'm in any of the tasks, I know, ah, this task is actually goal relevant. So I click on this, I go back here, I'm on the list, on the goals list, okay? So in this way, we set up all the goals. So when we go in here, there are, for example, two targets here. See, these are just two lists, established website 1.0, established marketing 1.0. We click here, we go to the list and you see it's just part of the projects folder. So you, you see, we used a folder for the projects because this makes it very easy then to go on the top level. And now I see all the tasks within all the projects. And later on, when it comes to statistics and performance indicators and so on, that makes it also very easy to just pick the information from this folder. But whenever I need everything, I can always go to the top level and show everything inside our workspace. The definition of priorities. We have output priorities. That's what you also learn inside the ICOM Mastery course. So this means each priority has its specific use case. High priorities means they are always goal aligned. So whenever you work on things that has a, blue, a yellow flag, you know you're working towards a goal. The blue flags are optimization priorities. So this means if we achieve this in addition to the other things, we are overachieving. This is optimization, but the MVP that we want is achieved by just going through the yellow flags. The red flag is the urgent flag. And this just means if this is not fixed, then business continuity will stop and we have a problem. For example, the server is down, people cannot access the website or the membership. Obviously, everything has to stand still, the people who are responsible to setting this up and fix this first before they go back to some goal related task. And this is how we use the prioritization system. So this means I go into this, I have no work left, right? So there's nothing in progress for me. Let's assume this. Then I say, okay, I know immediately, okay, these are the tasks I need to work on and I can plan out my next weeks. So I just switched this to in progress. And it's important that everybody sticks to the definitions that you do. That's why i is tool agnostic and you set up guidelines that we have here in the documentation. You go to the guidelines, everybody will understand what a priority means, how you use the tool, that's very important. Otherwise, you will have a typical situation where you have a project manager and all the tasks are set to urgent because <laughs> everything is high priority. Everybody considers they are the most important person. However, having the bird's eye view and everything with the goals, you know exactly what you should focus on right now. And these are the goal oriented tasks and to-dos. If you're interested to learn more about our iCore ClickUp setup or even want an iCore ClickUp template for your own setup, let us know in the comments below. Providing you with a ClickUp course or iCore templates is certainly something we can create for you in no time. And if you're interested to learn how you can get started with iCore, you can join us in the Paperless Movement membership for free and start watching our iCore Mastery course today. I promise it will change the way you think about personal and business productivity forever. So let's iCore.